All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcelo. Today, the topic I'm going to be covering is how profitable is mining cryptocurrency, specifically in regards to using ASIC miners just like this one right here. Here I have brought up a website called ASIC Miner Value. What this website is, is it's a website that curates a lot of data about manufacturers, different models, uh, different machines that have different hash rates, such as here you have Terahash, Gigahash, and more. And then it also shows how much power they use, and then which cryptos these mining machines mine in particular, and then also the profitability for these machines. So as you see here, the profitability, this is on the highest frame to the lowest. So getting into this, I'm gonna go over this one first. You have here Gold Shell, they are a manufacturer. This machine is made to mine Kadana. It has a power usage of 2,630 watts, produces 26.3 terahash, and this machine can make 141 bucks a day, which is absurd. This is what the machine is grossing a day, 146 bucks. It's using seven bucks of power, and then your profit is coming to 139 bucks a day. Now, monthly, this comes out to roughly $4,200. Guys, that is a lot. That is a lot. Now, some of you may be asking, okay, well, this is the power cost. At what rate is that? So if you scroll down here, at the bottom, you'll have the rate. This rate is 0.08. That's a pretty attainable rate. Now, if you're working with renewable energy like solar farms, wind farms, you can get rates as low as 0.04. If you're pulling just from the grid and you have an industrial setup or commercial setup, attaining a rate of around 0.06 to 0.09 is pretty doable if you're in the right region or the right area of the country. And then residential, you can go as high as you know, 0 0.14, 0 0.15. So this is a pretty good basis to go off of. Now, another thing to take into consideration is this profit right here you're seeing is based off the current price of the crypto that this machine mines. So this machine mines Kidana. This chart is showing a few months of data. It's showing how profitable this machine was per day. And if you look back here, November, this machine was profiting 545 bucks a day. Yeah, that, that is a lot. That is a lot. Now, now it's only producing $139. So what changed? What changed was the price in Kadana. So this is November 14th. I'm going to bring up here the chart for Kadana. As you see here, the current price is $7.31 of the year time frame pulled up. So on November 14th, this particular coin was priced at $19.35. So the coin had a higher value and that's why the machine was more profitable. You know, different cryptos, well, all cryptocurrency can be very volatile. So this coin, as it's dropped in price, so has the mining profitability. But even here towards the bottom where we're at $7 and again, 31 cents, this machine is still producing a profit of 139 bucks a day, which is pretty good. You know, being that this machine right now is going for around you know, these prices, I'm not sure how accurate these are, but this is saying about 54,432 days to get your ROI, which is not bad considering you're getting an actual asset, you know, that you can write off and depreciate and that's going to produce you an immediate return. You can then recoup your money on this investment and then still have liquidity in the actual asset itself or the equipment. Be what you want to do with it, whether it's sell it and upgrade or, you know, keep using it. Maybe by that time, Kadana's at a higher price and it's even more profitable. You know, that could happen where the price rises and you reach your profits sooner or your returns could diminish as Kadana goes lower in price and it takes longer to get an ROI. So that is something you have to take into account. This next one is going to be the Bitmain Antminer L7. It produces 9.5 gigahertz. It came out last year of November. Power usage of 3,425 watts. This produces 64 bucks a day in profit. This is another ASIC miner. So with this ASIC miner, whereas the previous one was only designed to mine Kadana, this machine you can mine all these different types of cryptos. The only ones I recognize offhand are Doge and Litecoin and Digibyte. So with this particular machine, I don't know which crypto this is being based off of for the mining profitability but whichever coin it is it's making a profit of about 1800 bucks a month which isn't bad considering this device will run you around twenty four thousand dollars producing an ri in about in roughly a little over a year like literally like 14 months or so so 
again, I do think that is pretty exceptional being that, you know, you're not going to, it's not like buying one of these NFTs or you're trying to get into a coin that you hope to 5X or 10X. What you're doing is you're buying something, you're getting something tangible that is worth value and that is going to produce you an immediate return. So again, you know, I think this is another good machine. The next device I'm going to cover is going to be the Bitmain A Miner S19 XP 140 terahash. So this is scheduled to release soon. 140 terahash, this will be the most powerful, if not one of the top most powerful Bitcoin miners. So this one's producing 22 bucks a day. Again here, this one's producing about 776 bucks, 9,300 bucks a year. After electricity costs, not bad. This miner you can get right now around 11 to $12,000, dependent on if you're buying it from directly from the manufacturer or you're getting it from a reseller or a broker. They all have different prices and fees, but this is a miner I know a lot of people are pre-ordering right now. All right, so as you see, as we go further down this list, the profits get very minimal. You know, literally you're talking down to a dollar a day. Now, one of the reasons this is, is because some of these devices are a lot older, they're less powerful, they're less efficient, meaning they're less powerful and they consume more power than some of these newer machines coming out. Another factor is some of these are set up to mine different cryptos. Like I don't even have any idea what this is. Coca 232, the script. But and those cryptos might have significantly decreased in value and that is why the profits are literally in the pennies. Now that you have a yeah, general idea of ASIC miners and how profitable they can be based off of the current price of the crypto that they're mining and based off of the electricity cost, I want to mention some other costs that you might not be familiar with. All right, some of these fees are going to start from the moment you purchase your machine. So when you purchase your machine, you're going to have to pay sales tax. And if you purchase one of these popular Bitmain models, that is manufactured in China and it comes, you ship it all the way over here, you're gonna have to pay a tariff. So you gotta keep in mind of those fees. And then in addition to that, once you have your power set up, you have your miner here, you're configuring your whole setup, you're gonna have to connect to a mining pool. So these mining pools have different fees. Here they show 0%, but realistically they're like one to 3% depending on the pool you join. Another factor you're gonna have to consider is the network difficulty rate. As you see here, this number, as it gets higher and higher, it pretty much means that there's more computing power required to mine the same number of blocks to make the network more secure against attacks. So this difficulty adjustment is made based on the total estimated mining power and total hash rate. In simple terms, it's an adjustment that's made depending on the number of participants in the mining network and their combining combined hash power to the network. So it's dependent on how many miners are mining at any given time. The higher the network difficulty rate, the more secure the network's gonna be this is gonna require more hashing power to be needed. And then this is gonna to translate to miners having to work harder to make the same amount of profit. Now that you're a little bit more familiar with crypto mining in regards to ASIC miners and how much they cost, how much power they consume, what type of cryptos they can mine, how profitable they can be, I wanna go over some mining strategies. Here I have some mining strategies. The first one I'm gonna go over is mining a crypto coin that you believe in long-term and accumulating it. So in this strategy, what you'd be doing is finding a project that you heavily believe in. You know, you believe this coin or crypto is going to provide an immense amount of value or utility in the future. And you just want to get your hands on as much as this crypto as you can. So if it was a mineable coin and it was profitable, what you could do is buy the equipment to mine that coin, mine it uh, and accumulate it or get it and then sell it at a later time in the future, whether that be, you know, one years, two years, five years. The second strategy would be mining the most profitable coin, selling it, and then buying other coins, whether they be, may or may not be mineable. So an example of this would be the KD6 ASIC miners. That was the first machine I went over. It has a profit of over $4,000 a month. So what you could do is buy some KD6s, make over $4,000 a month. Now remember, that's gonna be in Kedana. So what you would do is sell the Kedana, get those profits and then use those profits to buy into another coin you may want to accumulate such as bitcoin the third strategy i want to go over is mining crypto and just earning good old cash so in this example you would purchase mining equipment for cryptos that are profitable to mine you would then mine and make a profit and then you would sell your cryptos for you know just the us dollar for cash and then use you whether you use that cash to buy into assets or save or spend it you know that'd be your choice but those are 
a few strategies. Now in this video, I hope that it gave you some insight into how profitable mining can be and what the costs are to get started as far as if you already have your power situated and all you're trying to do is figure out you know what cryptos you want to mine and what machines you want to use as far as ASIC machines and also I'm going to be making other videos that cover more in-depth insight to mining crypto as far as power infrastructure and setup to other methods of mining through you know not just ASIC miner but also uh, GPUs, CPUs, and then also I'm going to be covering uh, electricity costs a little bit more because that's that's a big thing, energy costs. And I'm just going to be covering other general news and information around the crypto space. So if you have not already, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you have any questions in regard to anything I covered over this entire video, don't hesitate to comment below and ask. I will answer every single question. Thank you for watching this video.